Hello, this is Jenny Brandt with Unleash Your God-Given Healing. Today, we're going to look at dark chocolate, a superfruit loaded with polyphenols and four reasons you're going to want to include it in your diet. Chocolate when it's, is one of the most craved and popular foods in Western culture, actually also in the world, and it comes from the fruit of the cacao tree. Chocolate is made from the seeds of this fruit. The cacao bean is the most pharmacologically complex food source in the Amazon jungle. This raw, unprocessed bean literally contains thousands of chemical constituents. The high polyphenol properties of cacao beans can benefit our health in these four ways. All right, number one. The raw, unprocessed cacao beans have high antioxidant capabilities. The beans are loaded with polyphenols, flavonoids, and catechins. These seeds are scientifically proven to be a super fruit. When comparing the flavanol content of cacao powder, it was revealed that dark chocolate's antioxidant capacity was higher than all of the sugar fruits except pomegranates. Antioxidants help to neutralize free radicals that get into our bodies on an everyday basis before they do damage. Number two, cacao beans contain cancer-fighting compounds. Amen. According to the American Cancer Society, the studies in cancer prevention related to cacao are due to its strong antioxidant effects that we just talked about. Yes, the antioxidants in dark chocolate help to reduce inflammation, which was related to cancer. They repair DNA damage and help protect your skin from UV damage. All of these together reduce your risk for cancer and my risk of it coming back. Number three, cacao beans lower the risk of heart disease and stroke. The flavanols found in dark chocolate stimulate the lining of the arteries to produce nitric oxide. This phenomena helps lower blood pressure. The high polyphenol content is effective also in lowering triglyceride levels. In hypertensive patients with diabetes, it also decreases blood pressure and fasting blood sugar levels. Definitely a plus. Flavanols have other potential influences on vascular health, such as improving the blood flow to the brain and the heart, which is key, thus making blood platelets less sticky and able to clot. Number four, last one. Cacao beans boost cognitive brain function. Intake of flavanol-rich cacao is associated with better cognitive test performance. In research, it is associated with increased blood flow to cerebral gray matter. These flavanols might also be beneficial for preventing conditions such as dementia and stroke, where blood flow is often reduced. Dr. Josh Axe lists dark chocolate as one of his top brain foods to boost focus and memory. Now that you know that chocolate is a fruit with high antioxidant and polyphenol benefits, it's wise to include it every day in your diet if you can stand the taste. That's not hard, right? But in limited amounts. Unfortunately, not all chocolates are created equal. Some chocolates are loaded with polyphenols and beneficial plant compounds and most are not. The amount of dark cacao and the processing is what makes the huge difference in whether the chocolate remains high in polyphenol and antioxidant power. So choosing the right type of cacao enables you to get the most phytochemical bang for your buck. 
The difference between cacao and cocoa is simply a matter of processing. Cocoa is heated at much higher temperatures. The heat affects the beans on a molecular level, greatly minimizing the oxygen radical absorbance capacity value, or what we call the ORAC value score. Research indicates that the benefits to health are based on raw cacao only. The raw cacao beans have the highest ORAC value of over 95,000 for 100 grams, as compared to just 26,000 for the cocoa powder that has been highly processed. Big difference. It's best, of course, to use the raw cacao powder, beans, or chocolate chunks that have been minimally processed. Raw cacao does not undergo any heating and is usually cold pressed instead. This is what allows it to retain its nutrients and health benefits. Dark chocolate typically contains 70 to 99% cacao. All chocolate begins in the same way as harvested cacao beans from the cacao trees seed pods. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I have to inform you that milk chocolate is unfortunately highly processed with heat and contains only a small amount of cacao with added sugar and milk to boot. Dutch chocolate, oh, it tastes great, but the alkalizing of the cacao destroys its beneficial healthy compounds. Let's talk about white chocolate. It has no cacao at all, sorry, and only contains the cocoa butter. As a result, milk chocolate, Dutch chocolate, and white chocolate are not a good source of phytochemicals. Stick with the dark. It's best to eat small amounts of minimally processed dark chocolate with at least, as we mentioned, 70% or higher cacao content. One source of dark chocolate contains 168 calories, ugh. So either look for cacao sweetened with stevia, monk fruit, and other wholesome low calorie sweeteners, or simply use unsweetened cacao and then use your own healthy sweetener in recipes. I use this banana for that reason in my smoothie. Cacao products are high in calories, as I just mentioned, but dense in wonderful nutrients. Health practitioners recommend no more than one to two ounces daily. Cacao also contains small amounts of caffeine. Actually, two ounces of dark chocolate contain 50 to 60 mg's of caffeine. When you compare that to a cup of coffee, coffee cups can range for eight ounces from 100 to 200 mg's depending on the strength. So best not to eat a lot of chocolate past 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Another tip, since cacao is uh, usually sprayed with lots of pesticides, the cacao is best bought in raw, organic form. I buy mine in different forms, which I'll show you in a minute, and I use them in my daily chocolate banana blueberry smoothie. This way I'm getting the most phytochemicals for the buck. I made a video on how to make this chocolate banana blueberry smoothie, and it will be referenced in the show notes below because it tastes great. Cacao's high antioxidant power and all of the polyphenols and the heart prevention and boosting the brain are reasons why you're going to want to include this as a guilt-free daily splurge. You don't mind, do you? Mm. Mm. Let me show you some of my sources. This is Santa Barbara's powdered raw cacao. Just use it as a powder in the smoothie or in a recipe. Here's another one I found right on the raw cacao organic at Ingalls, and sometimes at Publix, and sometimes at Costco. And then there's always the nibs that you can buy. 
as well. Just make sure it's raw cacao and organic really helps. So I hope I've given you some good news today that chocolate, something that almost everyone loves, can be good for you if you eat it from the right source. I hope this video has been good for you today. I do hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share it with chocolate lovers all over the world, and click the notification bell for when I make new videos. Until then, enjoy chocolate. Let it be a guilt-free thing, as I do. God bless.